Okay, so uh, this is the 3rd of March 2019, and we're in Tokyo, and happy Girls' Day. Thank All the you. girls here, <laughs> three girls are here, and some are on, uh, around the world on Skype. Happy Girls' Day to you from Japan. <laughs> Would you mind to introduce yourself? Yes, person? hello, I'm Ryo Takahashi from Japan, uh, from uh, Sendai University. I'm uh, uh, a uh, clinical professor at the uh, AUSN as well. Uh, particularly, I'm uh, uh, doing uh, research uh, and uh, teaching in gerontology. So today will be a uh, second uh, challenging to pursuing of the gerontology uh, philosophy and bioethics. So I'd like to have your uh, suggestion, <coughs> opinion for improving my uh, contents. Thank you. Thank you. Please. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, my name is Hatanaka. Uh, I'm the Kiabito, Nippon Kiabiti Gerontology, or Nihon no Shagaini, Shinto Sazerbeku, Ano Irona Kente Sedo Skutanistia. He is president of the Kiabit Institute, uh, Education Institute, and uh, he has been there the curriculum to. Uh, bring out uh, uh, all training for the uh, business ed education uh, academic field as well. So this is for uh, uh, first time to involving for ASN uh, meeting. Thank you. Okay. And this is Hitomi Rizawa. I'm a part-time associate professor of um, Hyogo College of Medicine, <laughs> and I'm research bioethics and. And my another job is a very dancer, and I every, I perform at um, elderly facility every month and perform, yes. and um, I try to make um, physical communication through dance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, Interesting. I'm Mihaela Sharbuda. I am. Uh, from Romania, but live in Japan for 25 years, almost half of my life. <laughs> and I uh, study and practice traditional medicines. Uh, so I uh, am interested in the bioethics of uh, use of very recent technology versus very old knowledge. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Atoshi Asai. I'm, uh, <coughs> I'm from uh, Sendai, Japan. Um, I'm a professor of uh, medical ethics at Tohoku University uh, School, of Science, uh, School of Medicine. I'm also doing um, general internal medicine um, for the clinic and seeing uh, many patients, uh, including many elderly persons. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, I am. Keiko Kitagawa uh, came from uh, Seito University in Chiba, and I, I'm a professor at uh, Seito University and also the professor emeritus at Saga University in Kyushu Island. And also, I'm a visiting researcher at uh, Gerontology and Geriatrics Mongolian Institute, mm -hmm. and also the professor emeritus at Mongolia National University of Medicine. And my profession is uh, especially the, uh, uh, my uh, research area is gerontology. For stu uh, studying and researching for 30 years in gerontology, especially uh, social gerontology area. And I became a fellow at the American uh, Gerontology of uh, GSA, Gerontology Society of America, the United States, for three years ago. And uh, so I'm just a concent uh, concentration to work for the other, especially the dementia um, and um, Alzheimer's disease mm -hmm. people. I'm really uh, happy to hearing from the Professor Takahashi's dissertation uh, presentation. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And so I'm Daryl Mesa. Um, and you, I think you know me already. Thank you very much. <laughs> and so I'm going to, uh, today the plan is 
that we have a discussion on the proposal of a uh, uh, Ro Takahashi <coughs> called the Science, Philosophy and Bioethics of Gerontology <coughs> in the context of our future. Uh, and then a uh, discussion of this and then open up to the broader question of the contributions of the ethos of Japan to a sustainable world and some other general discussion um, in this session. And we have our co some colleagues from around the world on uh, Skype joining us as well. And thank you for them. And they may ask some questions. They all have uh, the file from room. Thank you. Thank you. And for making time. Yes, thank you for uh, uh, taking the time, uh, those who are around the world. Uh, the topic is that I will take in, uh, assign to the taking 30 minutes for a uh, presentation and 30 minutes for discussion. Mm -hmm. And the topic is uh, the science, philosophy, and the biotech of journalism in the context of our future. Why I choose this topic is uh, when I was Googling that the topic of journalism with, with uh, uh, philosophy, we really, really see that this uh, contents. Uh, that's why uh, I have uh, contributed in the paper before this uh, topic. Uh, uh, gerontology and uh, philosophy plus bioethics. So now we go in that uh, my paper is the top of the line to uh, introducing such uh, uh, contents. So I thought that it might be very helpful to bring out uh, more details, particularly going back to that the philosophy in ancient time in Japan, mm -hmm. including a martial arts we call the Bushido. Uh, even we call that uh, uh, technical term martial arts mm -hmm. is not the same as we use a uh, bushido. The mm -hmm. bushido is more uh, including a philosophy. Mm -hmm. So that I will go into that the more details uh, for this uh, presentation. So I direct to uh, you to uh, give us a suggestion, whatever you feel from my that presentation. I will read the abstract first. Uh, this is uh, page four. This proposal outlines that uh, work toward my PhD thesis. The thesis will explore the foundation and essence of gerontology as a study of aging. Gerontology is not only in the disciplinary and the interdisciplinary study, but also the international and the interprofessional study of aging to create awareness on that the concept among the people throughout the globe. This proposal considers the history of gerontology and the future cycles of evolution of gerontology. The philosophy of gerontology is a practical philosophy to explore the nature of humanity itself and to practice the learning gerontology is science of human philosophy. Mm -hmm. That is to say, study the practical applications seeking various ways of life that can help human beings arrive with peace and tragedy. When that studies are published, approach globally with various languages and cultures and seeking the true meaning of life and science, people can be one with the same idea. Gerontology is also related to science and technology. The proposal also introduces that the foundation of our values that determine that quality of life including case studies of the development of religion in Japan and the faith of the Church of Jesus of Latter-day Saints. Uh, there is a referred, uh, reference to that uh, interrelationship inter to Aino people and others in Japan and recommendation include that the holding of international summit in Kitami in 2020, next year. So I'm originally from Kitami, Hokkaido as well. So I have been acquainted with uh, Ainu cultures, indigenous culture. Since I've been uh, associated with uh, uh, Dareo uh, through uh, uh, American University of Southern Nations, it's very emphasis the importance of uh, indigenous people's cultures and the running from ancient apply into our society. So that I was thinking that the uh, Ainu nowadays in Japan is uh, culturally uh, uh, learning for touring purpose, but not really learning from ancient uh, wit, uh, wisdom or wit. And that's why we really have to uh, dig in up the what we can learn, not only in uh, cultures, but also Japan. It also have a uh, history. We could clearly going back to 615, but not more than 615. But still, there is a history, mm -hmm. so that we want to collaborate with uh, such history into the gerontology as philosophy. Mm -hmm. 
So I'd like to go in through that uh, uh, contents of the chapter. Uh, uh, this is page five. That the chapter one is the scope, aim, and the object. Uh, we will go detail more uh, uh, afterward. The chapter two is a personal philosophy review of gerontology. Uh, the 2.1 is essential of gerontology. The 2.2 is, 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 is study of quality rights. Why I do quality work is I'm also uh, being uh, studying with uh, aging people with intellectual disabilities to improve quality work as well. Since I have been involved with uh, Agi, this associated with gerontology in higher education, mm -hmm. which has been working with the Gerontology Society of America. Sometimes the uh, organizations have been increasing though. Now is uh, from almost uh, nearly uh, 400 organizations to now is uh, 150, less than 150 organizations. Why with this is that uh, people who have started uh, such activities is same going on up to now. No younger generation has not been involving. Uh, involving. Why it is? I think that that is a philosophy is not really uh, uh, preparing. Uh, that uh, first of all, uh, what I was interested in philosophy is that when I was in United States uh, in, uh, since 1988, uh, I joined the University of Utah in 1990. That time, the president of Agi Associated with Education Higher Education was uh, uh, our uh, professor at the University of Utah. So I firstly attended that uh, Agi conference. There is a symposium uh, about uh, uh, what gerontology is. One graduate student asked a question, what is the philosophy of gerontology? To those who are very famous professors in the United States, mm. nobody could answer it. Mm. So I saw that without philosophy, mm. gerontology, only for scientific approaches going on for presentation. Uh, we really need to uh, bring up the philosophy. That is uh, my uh, studying to uh, uh, thinking of uh, philosophy. So it might be more than 30 years back. So now uh, uh, I have been developing the philosophy running from uh, United States and also running from India. Mm -hmm. So I uh, discovered the differences. Once I returned from United States, people in Japan was not really interested in me. Mm -hmm. You just returned from United States? Okay, so what? That is kind of way with the communication you know, the person we're doing here. Then after going back from India, people show interest very much. I was so surprised why it is. I found that there is a philosophy in India more uh, uh, deep and the ancient time. And also Japan has uh, influences from China, the China influence from India. So that will be going the yoga and the uh, uh, meditation, mm -hmm. uh, another uh, more uh, deep uh, traditional medical uh, approach also started from such mm -hmm. uh, Asia area. So that was a part of the gerontology uh, I think I can I, uh, find out. So since uh, Mr. Takana, uh, Hatanaka is uh, involved with us, he, he is always sponsoring and supporting me. We made an international conference in India for gerontology for mm -hmm. inviting uh, Abdul Kalam, who was a former president of India, mm -hmm. also give us a keynote speech. So we, uh, they are so uh, happy that having a, a conference because they also realize that the philosophy is very important in India though. Mm -hmm. They are forgetting. Because those who are in there are going to the United States for getting the positions, but uh, forgetting their philosophy of uh, motherland. So yoga philosophy, we call that the yoga gerontology also another uh, curriculum we have developed. So what we can do in Japan, or through Japan, or through indigenous history in Japan, try to connect it with uh, uh, American, uh, Indian, uh, the Native American, or other indigenous people in uh, foreign countries may have a common philosophy. Mm -hmm. Because we have a countries which is independent nowadays though, we didn't have a such independence uh, movement before. We have a many uh, wisdom to share with how we may be able to call it life. So we are going through that outline how we may be able to uh, uh, going to that uh, uh, each chapter. So uh, that is uh, talking about quality life.
Then third chapter is a history of personal philosophy review of gerontology. Why it is, is uh, when we uh, googling that the philosophy of gerontology, we may be able to definition of gerontology, but knowing, not going to that individual people's background. Mm -hmm. Even we try to uh, find out a very well-known gerontologist, we may be able to find out their background from education from mm -hmm. university, mm -hmm. not high school or elementary school or useful uh, experience. We cannot find it. Why it is? But I, I think gerontologists should start from birth through death mm -hmm. because they have been influenced by parents, by teachers, by school, many ways have been developed philosophy by many peoples, not from university. That's why we have to go into that uh, our by useful uh, use time and uh, elementary time what we have been collaborated with. Like here, I introduce uh, Mr. Hatanaka. He is now is the president of uh, uh, Nippon Care Fit Institute of uh, Education Institute. Actually, he is a very uh, he will be laughing at a very famous dancer. He used that to make uh, the performance in Japan, <laughs> bringing up from the world to Japan, so he can make in uh, by performing without many uh, any verbal uh, expression. So he can figure out how art may be able to affect it into that philosophy of gerontology. So he touch me, he may be able to use me as a philosophy. So nowadays, Kafit is a philosophy. What we are doing. Back here, we in the route uh, JR, Japan Railway uh, Company, and uh, Disneyland, other hotel, have been trained by us. Why it is, is that we still uh, focus on the individual needs instead of just training. So when we, uh, we have been, uh, uh, we came from Sendai, Tohoku, you realize that 2011 father was happened, big uh, Tohoku brain disaster was happening. What is the problem is that uh, we, how to prevent ourselves is a very key issue rather than going following to the guideline. So we need to, a uh, very immediate decision is necessary instead of memorization. That is, should be included in the curriculum of gerontology. So I will be focusing the more individual needs to find out so that we may be the more depth of a philosophy. So chap uh, chapter three is a history of personal philosophy review of gerontology. Uh, we did uh, focusing worldwide general this, and uh, third three point two is at the United States uh, National Institute of Gerontology because the United States we, we openly said that the United States very influencing to the world even gerontology, but uh, uh, we have to go into a more uh, uh, broader aspect. Then three point three is uh, I just uh, explained uh, Hagi uh, Association. In the three point four is that. Uh, IASSID is an international association of scientific study of intellectual disabilities, aging studies. Then 3.5 is our history of gerontology in Japan. The, how back we maybe go back to the history of Japan is we don't know, but Kaibara Ekken is one of the uh, very uh, well-known uh, gerontologists, I would say. Uh, that is a uh, more all the time you may be going through the his history I have written in the paper, but uh, uh, my point is gerontology has been started not only uh, around the 19th, 20th century, but also more further back. Mm -hmm. We may be to uh, find out the philosophy by reading or searching their own individual life. Then uh, 3.9 is the care fit uh, translate uh, relation of gerontology in Japan. There are many words translated from gerontology into Japanese. It's a lojin gaku, ronen gaku, nenrin gaku, sore gaku, tenju gaku, and so on. But uh, that is contains the uh, kanji character, Chinese character, including the meaning. Uh, gerontology, as you know, the gerald is uh, the aging, logi is the studying. Mm -hmm. So study of aging is uh, translated to aging study though. The, the aging and the aged is uh, di quite different. Aged is the older person, mm -hmm. but aging in progress, the process mm -hmm. from a birth through death. That's why we, as we uh, uh, discussed that uh, we need to going back to that the youth or young through through that uh, uh, time 
of the uh, aging process. Then 4.3 is a key person, uh, key point. Family, my family history. There is a, a kind of confidential or individual information nowadays we are discussing with in Japan. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, it has been using a negative way. We should use positive way to know ourselves is very uh, important and very valuable as we introducing that uh, ourselves. We can introduce myself, ourselves, and uh, how about the parents? We can introduce maybe. How about your grandparents? Can you introduce four persons? Maybe you can name it, but how is the background? How they live? How about great grandparents? How have you introducing eight grand great grandparents? That may be very difficult. Mm -hmm. I in in this uh, uh, this uh, last of the page I have uh, 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 introducing my uh, chapter of all family uh, histories uh, that should be including the education uh, through gerontology uh, or we say uh, gen uh, uh, family studies as well. So that is uh, uh, going on in the United States education. Nowadays, the education of gerontology is including within that the elementary school curriculum as well, mm -hmm. such as uh, going back to that uh, your ancestors, histories, life uh, events, so that uh, from the youth time, they may be able to not only knowing the name, but also respect of their uh, grandfathers and parents. So that is uh, another point. Then uh, going to the chapter five, uh, religion and the gerontology. It is in Japan, it is very difficult to talk about religion. You know, if we talk about religion in, uh, at the university in Japan, that may be very sen uh, sensitive uh, required. But here, bioethics is a very uh, uh, stress that the importance of not discriminate any religion or value of cultures. Mm -hmm. That's why I uh, naturally go, could go to that the more depth of the history of Japan. Because emperor history is not really history of Japan. Before emperor uh, 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 policy or law is established, there are already Japan uh, history uh, uh, existed. So it's a uh, 5.1 in Jindai Moji. It's not Japanese. Before Japanese is uh, introduced, another language is existed. So we could going back to that uh, this one at the 5.2 is a critical though. I going through that Takeno Uchi documents. Uh, we may be going to that the more detail uh, further uh, later on. Then uh, going to the religion, Shingonshu is a kukai, is an uh, explorer to the China, and he was uh, preached by Indian monk. So he has brought, actually, Indian monk uh, was uh, giving to kukai uh, the New Testament Bible contents is uh, brought to that uh, Shingonshu. Mm -hmm. So that is also not well, well known in Japan, but actually by searching the history, we may find out. So that we even call that the Shintoism, Buddhism, Christian, Judaism, we maybe call the religion individual. They have a commonality by searching history. That's why we may to collaborate to understand is very important. Then uh, Rinzai Shu is a part of the uh, Zen uh, history or philosophy is uh, still exercising. Then uh, Yamabushi is that uh, kind of uh, uh, exercising of the uh, doct doctrine by practicing going to the mountain, uh, praying, that they have a uh, medical uh, skills, healing skills, not only for a European uh, scale, but actually they have worked for helping people. Then uh, history of uh, Shugendo is a part of the uh, name of the exercising of uh, Yamabushi. Then point uh, chapter six is the golden plates that is uh, used for uh, keeping a record before paper has been discovered. Mm -hmm. So we going to that uh, uh, many uh, golden plates, and also the Book of Mormon is a part of the plates was translated into that uh, English versions. Mm -hmm. We will introduce what it is. 
Then that is a part of the introduction from Church of Jesus Christ of Data Saints. Nowadays, Soltek, Utah is a headquarter of the church, mm -hmm. though it was influencing the Judaism and any other countries, very also uh, corrected uh, the Buddhist uh, Asian countries as well. Very interesting. Even the Christian, how it is related to. Because of the family uh, histories, uh, what I in introduced, this Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has a worldwide history, uh, family history library in uh, Salt Lake, Utah. Nowadays, online, you may be able to find out all history on your every countries of connecting to the family members freely, regardless of your member or not. It doesn't matter. So that is also an introduction. The chapter 7 is the indigenous people wisdom and human rights. The nowadays here in Ainu, uh, we have been uh, preparing the con conference or summit in Hokkaido, Jap Chitami, Japan. Uh, Darao and Hatanaka has been uh, uh, helping us uh, and also visiting to uh, Akan Kotan, which is the Ainu village, and they are also supporting us. And uh, tomorrow, uh, next year, will be Tokyo Olympics will be held. What was happened was that the Japanese government asking first to Ainu uh, people to present their performance at the head of the uh, festival. Why is that? Every country when they have an Olympics, Indian people is the first of introduction. But Ainu people has not been introduced actually unless having an Olympics. So firstly, government what they did is asking to that Ainu uh, chief to prepare for that uh, presentation of uh, festival. So that is a way of the, the uh, political movement is going on. But what is the Olympic purpose is not only for sports, but also having peace, collaboration, helping each other, uh, and uh, sharing uh, each other. That is the main purpose of Olympics. That's why we really have to understand of the philosophy of Olympics. That's why we have been preparing this uh, activity since the Dario has uh, given us uh, keynote speakers in 2002, uh, I know 2012, uh, when uh, uh, we have a conference in uh, uh, Utsunobia a conference. Then uh, going to that uh, Joe Montonio uh, is also uh, uh, many people has been discriminated those who have uh, uh, indicated that uh, freedom for Japan. Uh, they have a freedom movement in Japan. Uh, those who are working in mainland Japan uh, were uh, so that against the government. That's why they were sent as a slave to uh, Japan to uh, making a road. So those who are in, in living in Jap uh, Hokkaido, including my parents, uh, those who are making a load are very against that uh, some killing of people or uh, bad people, they are told. But actually it is not. Many people are just uh, trying to be a freedom for the country, for the people. Mm -hmm. But the uh, government did not uh, accept them. So they are forced to move to Hokkaido to making a load. Then their bo body was used as a uh, lively uh, tool to making a tunnel into that uh, 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 each uh, uh, circling uh, uh, tunnel after digging up many bones are discovered. Mm -hmm. So it was not, uh, it was hidden in the history though uh, people are not recognized what is happening. That's why I uh, was going to dig up the history in the past. Then Kitami City, a hero in Kitami, uh, who is an Ainu uh, chief, who uh, helping Japanese people moving from uh, main Japan to Hokkaido, how to live, how to protect, how to uh, find out good water, and so on. And uh, freedom and people rights movement is at 7.5. Then uh, chapter 8 is, uh, as I mentioned, art is very important. But nowadays, art is counted as one of the sub subject in curriculum of school. Mm -hmm. But art is not like that. The physical education, art, or family uh, learning, 
uh, is uh, kind of uh, not necessary for examination. Well, internet examination is not uh, unless you are measuring in such uh, field, that examination is not uh, be uh, uh, given. But art is used for living for all the people. That's why we have to go back to the principle of art and the martial arts. And the Leonardo da Vinci is uh, part of the example how they have been, he has been developing his, himself. Uh, his influence is also from Asia uh, country as well. So we may be able to corroborate of his background. Then nine, chapter 9 is uh, bioethics. What I learned from uh, Darren Messer uh, every, uh, every week. So we may be able to use that, that uh, running into the philosophy to developing, uh, including 9.1 is science and technology in bioethics. And uh, that I always said bioethics is as a love of life. I have been getting understand. Love of life is a very deep uh, philosophy. We may be able to more detail in this contents. Then uh, this philosophy, the 9.3 is American US Nations has established. Then uh, Japan Advanced Institute of Science and Technology is that uh, a present uh, part, former president of uh, Prime Minister Mori uh, has uh, established this university. Why it is, so we may be to go into background. Then chapter 10 is uh, my personal journey in gerontology. Why have been reaching at this point? I am going to that uh, such university, uh, Sendai University, Joyce University, University of Utah, Andhra University in India, then Nippon Carefit Education Institute. Then uh, now time is coming to that uh, 2020 a summit for uh, Kitami uh, uh, for youth uh, uh, activities. Then uh, chapter 11 is a conclusion and recommendation. Uh, this is not from now I am going to uh, write. Uh, for uh, this uh, uh, old uh, uh, running. So this is a, a, a almost a general uh, a presentation of my topic. Okay, thank, thank you. you very much. <coughs> thank you. So in the uh, research questions uh, you have on page nine, <coughs> Uh, it may be good to start to look at some of these research objectives. Uh, so, and I open for everyone to ask questions, but so one of the objectives then is to review the worldwide history of gerontology. So, is there a, a currently a book or a publication that reviews the history of gerontology? Yes, it is. This is a uh, everybody in general can find mm -hmm. what the gerontology is. So we have to uh, uh, publicly uh, introduce what gerontology is. I have an over reviewing of the gerontology. So, so in the chapter, in one of the early chapters, you have taken sort of a website explanations from several three American societies. Mm -hmm. um, but so is there actually a, a published book? about this or it's just on websites? Website is almost. And also there is a published book as well. Okay. But it was an old one and the current uh, 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 information is uh, a few uh, paper is published through uh, organization but still this is uh, old okay. because uh, those who uh, founded that the society have already passed away. The, nowadays uh, such interest uh, researchers is not existed. Okay. And then the second objective to review the history of gerontology in Japan, is there an English publication on this yet or not yet? Yes, it is a few uh, uh, gerontology uh, history is uh, on the website and also uh, uh, since I have been associated with uh, Dr. Hiroshi Shibata who is uh, mm -hmm. Japanese Applied Gerontology Society, I have been uh, interviewing uh, of his life. So that may be very interesting. People may not aware of what he has uh, uh, living uh, through a uh, lifelong uh, development. That may be uh, very interesting. Okay. Thing. Yes, so that, I mean, that seems to both two objectives seem critical. Uh, and then you introduce the linkage of family history to gerontology. So that would be something new 
it's yes. not discussed so much. Huh? Yes, it's uh, something new because it yeah. has been uh, in Japan. It has not been considered that family history is not included in gerontology. Mm -hmm. But actually, United States is already uh, included within that curriculum through K through 12. It's a kindergarten through high high school student is learning gerontology. Mm -hmm. There is a moral education. Gerontology. 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 No gerontology. gerontology. Yes. Uh, but uh, we use in Japanese uh, the dotoku is a moral education. Mm -hmm. Dotoku do, do is still uh, figure out uh, the, the, uh, which way they should go. They are not really surely understanding for uh, teachers uh, how to developing that uh, teaching uh, method and also how they should go into that uh, using the moral education. But generally, can use. Uh, even also bioethics is a common though. The gerontology is more focusing to that uh, human beings, the uh, lifelong span development. So that uh, family is always a common issue because we all have a family members. Mm -hmm. The key point is that people think that family history is only for famous people, mm -hmm. but it is not. Mm -hmm. We all have a history. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the people think that uh, my parents are divorced we don't have a, a good family members. Mm -hmm. I'm openly written that uh, my grandparents divorced and actually my grandfather uh, was not listed on my uh, formal record. By going to that his uh, birthplace, I discovered truthfulness instead of going to that uh, formal document from city of Hall. Mm -hmm. People really need to know the truth. Uh, instead of against of that uh, kind of uh, find out uh, formal good reasons, uh, that is all also a very good uh, 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 learning experience instead of uh, from learning from textbook. Mm -hmm. So this is a key issue. What uh, family in, uh, family is important is. Mm. Okay, and then you, then you have the objective. Um, I guess some of them are related to find a philosophy philosophical foundations and practice of gerontology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that allows you to bring in the religion. Uh, but I guess one of the questions we will have as we read the whole thesis is the gerontology of Japan, so the history of religious thought in Japan, is important, but your personal faith in the Book of Mormon mm -hmm comes in and the sort of what about other religions so this I think is one of the questions I'd like to ask the people the linkage of the PhD as a personal philosophy and faith as some which parts and that maybe needs to be distinguished from the general aspects of the history of the gerontology in general, and the history of gerontology in Japan, and the overall philosophy of gerontology, because there's a lot of people who follow gerontology who are not following uh, the Book of Mormon, mm -hmm. for example. Of course, in Japan, most people will follow some philosophy of related to Japan. So that would be one of the, I think, the questions. And then, then you would come on to, of course, the indigenous people's wisdom and human rights. And how is that linked to gerontology, uh, or is it a separate aspect? But it, I mean, it could be the philosophy <coughs> of Japan, and also then we have art and martial art, which is philosophy again. Leonardo da Vinci's spirit in art, which is your again your personal philosophy and more global. Uh, and at the end. Uh, the linkage to JIST and AUSM is a, I think, does not need to be linked, does not need to be um, in the thesis, in my opinion. I'm just, all the linkage needs to be clearer. And how to divide, uh, you know, the personal, your personal journey of your life into gerontology as opposed to the global movement of gerontology and the Japanese movement of gerontology. Mm. So how do we link in the personal philosophy as well? But this is maybe I'd like to open for 
everyone's thoughts on this. Mm-hmm. And I, I know you, uh, because it seems it's several. It's a lot of things to include. And also, usually, the, the sort of PhD needs to bring in some original material. So that's why putting the history of gerontology, putting the Japanese history of gerontology, to add family history as part of the philosophy of gerontology, and then therefore maybe linked to uh, um, and some of the others, but that's easier to understand, I think, in traditional academic work, whereas uh, personal philosophy um, needs to be clearly marked as a personal mm-hmm. philosophy mm-hmm. or whether it, yeah. but I, I'd like to ask the sushi <laughs> well how did you find the um, I had an um, experience uh, you know to investigate the PhD thesis uh, as for the PhD of medicine so and and uh, my experience is was limited to the you know investigation of empirical research, not to this kind of research. So I I, I don't think I'm you know, I have a qualification to you know <laughs> to say something or but uh, at this moment uh, to be honest I, I I'm sorry but I, I cannot understand what's going on in your uh, papers and um, there are so many things put in the one uh, thesis so I I cannot see so the story, main story of these papers at this moment. Thank you. Mahayana? Mm-hmm. I, I was also intrigued when I read the materials you applied. Well, it's very interesting to to look into your genealogy and into your ancestors' history. And of course it is interesting to study whether Leonardo da Vinci was inspired by Asian thought or of course I, it's an interesting topic again. And uh, there are interesting topics in itself but I don't see the connection to gerontology. Although, of course, gerontology is very broad and like bioethics it can include anything but yeah for me it also it's difficult to see what the connection is between these interesting fields in themselves but what's the connection between them would you like to make some comment yes. on the connection yeah this, uh, page 33 is uh, introducing the prophesy Mizo Terasawa in those who are uh, having a PDF file Actually, the, when we go into the history of gerontology, is uh, uh, Dr. Fujio Amako is the first uh, geriatrics uh, doctor who uh, brought in the, the geriatrics start. Then geriatrics was introduced next, but the uh, focus was uh, more medical background. Mm-hmm. Then next person we going to that uh, actually in general was that uh, uh, Tachibana Kakusho, Dr. Kakusho. Yes, uh, the doctor uh, Kita, uh, Kitagawa's also yes, yes. somehow related. They had a big book of uh, gerontology mm-hmm. in Ronengaku, but what I was surprised was his mentor was before the name of the Izuo Terasawa, was a mentor for uh, Dr. Kakusho Tachibana. When we going through that the history of gerontology in general, those who are in the field here in Japan, they don't know about Dr. Terasawa is, but he is, I found, in that uh, sports, uh, the uh, physical education, uh, school's uh, physical education journal, uh, his neighbor, name was d- discovered. What he did was he was uh, going in the education, uh, Tokyo Education University, then he went to the medical uh, uh, school, then he had been going to not only sci- psychology and uh, medicine is a uh, most uh, background of gerontology. Though. He went not only psychology but also re- uh, uh, literatures, history, other subjects as well. 
Then Dr. Kakusho Tachibana asking him for mentoring to bring up the new uh, aging uh, new, uh, nursing home. He spent uh, two years of mentoring by him. Then Dr. Tachibana was working for first uh, early history of a nursing home. So I went back to his history, uh, Izo Terasawa, going back to 1921. It was discovered at the library at the Tohoku University uh, last few years day, a few days. Uh, it was uh, found at the uh, Kagoshima University uh, mm -hmm. Library. They uh, introduced me. Tohoku University Library has also have a copy, mm -hmm. and then I found out that uh, uh, Flo Choju is a uh, non uh, uh, continuing uh, living uh, philosophy and uh, medical uh, psychological approach journal is uh, uh, existed entitled Taiyo. So that is a part of when we considering only one field as a special uh, field of gerontology. You may not be reaching out to the Dr. Terasawa. Uh, that way, uh, we are sometimes calling that the, what is the specialty is. Yes, going to that normal line, we may be going to for Googling a website or book. But behind of the specialty, there is a person who have already started of the field yet. So that is a point that uh, uh, the specialty is important though. Sometimes those which is not related that directly into that uh, field, what we are going to discuss with, is sometimes very important. That's why we really have to be carefully going to not only special uh, 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 research resources, but also uh, people may not be interested in going through that uh, resources. May also important. So that is a point that uh, special, uh, especially is important though. Sometimes we have to op open up our mind to going to the next uh, area, maybe to find out what truth is. So this is my very happy discovery of that his person's mm -hmm. life, yes. Okay, so that's sort of that part of the answer is looking at the history of Japanese figures involved in gerontology. Mm -hmm. that's, and that's easy to understand. Um, I think another question is, and we have some gerontology experts in the room, um, is when do we have the uh, beginnings of gerontology and how, how is it distinct from geriatrics and how is it distinct when we start to have a community care for the elderly mm -hmm. as opposed to the extended family care which worked through millennia or through the mm. history of humankind mm that we look after our older ancestors. And so that's the role of older people in human communities, uh, because not many animal species do it. I think some mm -hmm. whale species do it as well. Elephants. Having grandparents, yes, and elephants. then elephants. And so when do we move that, what we call an traditional view of a family that will look after the old people and young people growing together and maybe they're living together and when do we then have this medical medicalization of looking after old people or the central community halls for old people or retirement clubs is it something that we find in the gentlemen's clubs of 500 years ago or do we you know, how do we take care of older people? And, that, and it also see this, this t terminology is interesting because the same in the discussion you have also of bioethics as love of life. As you know, when, when does the word bioethics start? Because bioethics to me is a pre-human concept that we have uh, questions of moral decisions. But when do we start? So that, that could be interesting for you in the to develop in the thesis mm. to show the difference and you've got the case in Japan and you've got some nice pho you know pictures some artistic work and some photographs mm. of different figures so that's easy that chapter I think is easy to understand 
Um, and the origins of the concept and the word could have also be interesting to understand. And that's linked to the philosophy. Uh, that the connection needs to be made, I think, to the other part. Um, other comments? Mm. So Can I say a word? Something yes, please. About yes. Something especially the history of gerontology in Japan. So, <coughs> do you know the Omachi Chiyo? Yes. Mm -hmm. In Guma. Yes, mm. and Watanabe Jo. Mm, you know? the only name. Oh, the so. History. Please <laughs> tell me. So mm, I'm very familiar to those people. Mm. And Watanabe Jo is very uh, close to Tachibana Kakushi. Oh. Yeah. So he was influenced um, very much uh, medical area, also the gen Japanese gerontology area. The Japanese gerontology, uh, Association of Japanese Gerontology uh, was established in 1960s, or 70s, or 60s. Mm, 60s. I'm not sure, but mm. yeah, 60s or so. mm. Just before the uh, Association of Japanese Gerontology, uh, Watanabe Jo established the uh, Institute of mm, Association of Life Expectancy. Mm -hmm. And he was very uh, familiar to the, some Russian researcher. Uh, do you know the very famous researcher in Russia? Mechnikov? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, He's yes, the founder yes, yes. of the Yes, uh, Watanabe Jo is very familiar to them, mm -hmm. to him. Mm -hmm. Therefore, so you have to figure out you know, some of the Watanabe Cho and you. Omachi Chi. Yeah, Omachi, I actually mm -hmm. approached the Omachi family. Mm -hmm. and they say, because I wanted to, they, she might have uh, old uh, books and so on. Yes, they yes. said mm -hmm. they don't, they throw away. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah, also they mix up. So, so I'm very, because I was uh, uh, working for University in Gunma, so I was mm -hmm. uh, something connected, so I approached them. Mm -hmm. But uh, they don't have uh, the whole uh, uh, document. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, but the uh, Omachi book I was given, I, I have his uh, her book, oh, but uh, it was uh, only a uh, document of uh, uh, publications, abstract. Or, uh, oh, really? Uh, yeah, uh, not the uh, life. Mm -hmm. If you know, please. Yes, uh, maybe so. Uh, Omachi Chiyo is my mother's friend. Oh, really? Yes. Whoa. <laughs> and, well, my mother also passed away you know, for 20 years ago. Uh, but maybe so. May I ask uh, I can about find the history out. of your mother as well? Okay. Please. <laughs> yeah. mm. Yes. Mm. And um, my mother had uh, some almost three kinds of <coughs> books. Oh. Very big oh. book. Oh. Oh. Big. Oh. Therefore, okay. I will just uh, research search, mm. you know, those books oh. mm. later on. And one more thing. So you uh, figure out in uh, your personal, uh, personal philosophical, philosophical review of gerontology, mm. uh, chapter two, mm. and then chapter ten was your journey of your personal journey in gerontology. Mm. Uh, I think yeah, that is very important thing. But so. Why don't you combine the two, chapter two and chapter ten? Oh, that, that we can change. Yeah, maybe that is more uh, persuading in the, your history uh, journey, journey of the mm. mm. I thought so. So shall I put chapter two into that uh, chapter... Ten? Ten, mm -hmm. chapter ten to uh, chapter three? Well, no. Two and uh, chapter two and chapter ten. Okay. It's much better to combine. Okay. Your well, we have well, the philosophy. Leave you out. Some parts of it, because mm -hmm. you see, some part of your what you've done during the course of your study for the PhD mm -hmm. is uh, what we would say is coming back to it's not the, it's like the empirical results it's mm -hmm. the anthropological and the interviews it's the results of the thesis so mm -hmm. 
that still needs to be separate to show what is the original thing of the research mm. as opposed yeah. to the background at the beginning of your study mm. why you came to this point yeah that is a good um, point so because uh, yeah, yeah. that that's easier for people to understand because as mm. was mentioned by it's a she before the generally we have a section of the, what's the original result, research or mm -hmm. results and in the sociological anthrop or anthropological study this is like the empirical data that you might get from a, you know, a natural science experiment but it comes in the sense of results so during the course of your study and the same some of the th after reviewing of the history the history is also part of your mm -hmm your results, but then how you integrate the philosophies you learnt and in them there needs to be some central questions. So for example, the question like, what is, is there an underlying philosophy that has guided the development of gerontology in Japan? And is that different to in another country? whether it be United States or Russia or to another country that you have experience. Mm -hmm. um, so in terms of the originality, I think that's... And, then, and that could be also a way to restructure to say, well, if you're going to look at, for example, the, a case study of the development of gerontology in Japan, and a case study of the development of gerontology in Utah, in the United States, mm. then you can integrate, in the case of Utah, they were influenced by the Mormon faith. And in Japan, they were influenced by the Japanese religion. And how has the religion, in both cases, affected the philosophy? Okay. And so, in, and, but if there's long quotes of scripture, or text, they need to be in the appendix. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Yeah, but the the linkage then has to be made. It means it's more work, but it's interesting, and then it might be a way for you to integrate these two uh, parts. And then you've got the third part, which is the philosophy of, well, you've got actually number three parts. You've got philosophy of indigenous people. You got philosophy of Leonardo da Vinci, and you got philosophy of martial arts, and then these are extra things. So somehow they have to be all linked together to, if you would like to include everything. Um. So we have a question. Mm -hmm. So, page on page nine, um, one point three research questions and objectives. So you have many um, specific objectives. Right, and then on page 10, um, 1.3.2, research questions. So, and uh, you wrote uh, research questions of this study will include how gerontology can be applied with bioethics into educational setting. So, I wonder, so what is the primary main research mm -hmm. question of paper? So, as far as I can understand, this um, 1.3.2. So, how gerontology can be applied with bioethics into educational setting? Is this the main final research question, or is there other bigger, you know, major questions? Yeah. I think this is the main question of the total uh, 1.3 is talking about. Because the uh, uh, conclusion of the love of life is a uh, uh, philosophy. But what is need to be more details mm -hmm. for individual uh, case. Mm -hmm. So that might be simply uh, how uh, we maybe determine the meaning of love life, apply into that the philosophy of gerontology. It's a kind of a general question into the details mm -hmm. of each section. I see, and as um, and I already mentioned that, so there are many um, philosophies here. Uh, of the Da Vinci or martial arts or maybe the Ainu's um, ideologies, I'm sure. But so, could you tell me how 
those many um, philosophies may, you know, contribute or inform the, your main questions, mm -hmm. this is a question. I, I'm mm -hmm. very curious about yeah. that. Yeah, it's a, uh, every uh, question may be uh, answer that is, answer is love life. <laughs> but uh, we, <laughs> the Ainu is a love life, mm -hmm. not against the fighting with mm -hmm. Majin or anything mm -hmm. else. They have a love life. No? It is uh, also history family, uh, why do love life? Our, our sisters. That, that, that's why we need to details uh, uh, mm -hmm. for uh, more uh, their face, uh, no, no, for background of history. And Bushido also love of life. Mm -hmm. uh, that is not fighting to protect the people. But uh, nowadays, uh, menstrual arts is against fighting a point, even judo is a gold medal. And uh, yeah, yeah, but it should not always think about others. To frightness, we have to going back to the principle what martial arts is. But martial is not bushido. They are, but those who are going foreign countries, they are trying to understand the philosophy than Japanese people. So that is also critical. But uh, understanding of the commonality, even we do call the martial arts or bushido, we really need to go back. Like uh, I have, uh, in, I'm going to introduce. Uh, 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 before uh, judo was uh, uh, introduced by Jigoro Kano, mm -hmm. Daitoryu uh, uh, Jujutsu is uh, uh, introduced by uh, another uh, uh, Takeda uh, Kakusho, uh, Sokaku, mm -hmm. uh, who was in, raised in uh, Fukushima Aizu. Then he has moved to Kitami Hokkaido area. That the discipline was uh, uh, also teaching to the people from from worldwide, but they what they want to learn from uh, 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 disciple is that how to be winner. But uh, they teach that is not the way of fighting. They need to or you need to uh, know how to cry to the people, and uh, uh, they try to. Uh, uh, Fight, uh, hitting or uh, some uh, another skill, try to uh, 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 ch challenge to, to uh, master. But he knows the philosophy and the skill. They to only only use uh, the power and to force anything. But by doing a relaxation, a uh, meditation, mm -hmm. they will give more strength rather than physical strength. That is going to that meditation and the Zen uh, foundation of the skill. So when you really need to go uh, uh, to the best uh, result of sports, how much you understand the meditation is an issue of the kind of uh, practice uh, uh, preparation. That's why nowadays uh, exercising that uh, sports science is very focused into mm -hmm. the meditation, Zen, and mm -hmm. the music and also uh, how to be uh, relaxation. Uh, that is going back to the Zen or uh, yoga or prayer, uh, pondering. It's going to the common to that the foundation of philosophy of Bushido, not the martial arts. Mm -hmm. So that we really need to figure out that some of the people is uh, understand the martial arts Bush Budo is the same, but it is not. We really have to explain what this mean is, but the point is the love of life. Okay. Um, regarding the, you made a comment about the arts in the curriculum, uh, and saying that you said that arts that should not be examined and it shouldn't be in the curriculum, but. The inclusion of some subject in the curriculum does not mean that it should be examined. I think the fault of a curriculum is to have an examination. Our curriculum should not have exams, and it should just be inclusive of all sorts of things. So you have home class, you have different classes, you don't need to take an exam. And uh, you have music class, you have a dancing class, we have two dancers here, uh, apparently. I have not seen you dance yet, uh, but uh, this is uh, interesting. So, but do we need an exam? 
So that may, you know, so if you're going to link all these research objectives up to this question, you know, I, I think it's a little bit still, they're overlapping here, the research questions and research objectives that was raised, but maybe the final objective here is you want to have a chapter on recommendations for how to include gerontology in the curriculum, well, which curriculum? Mm -hmm. So you need a, you know, you've got some sample course for university probably already. Mm -hmm. You've got, you could make a little chapter to review that and what could be a sample module for high school. Mm -hmm. And then you, you could also, I think, to interview practitioners. So here you have, uh, I was interested you, you told me you said you're doing mm -hmm. belly dancing for older people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you have some questions or comments about that? I agree with your opinion. Uh, gerontology should be taught at early level. Uh, however, uh, these days individualism is popular among Japanese families, and the younger generation don't know how to deal with or elderly generations. Um, so, how uh, can we practically, practically learn uh, gerontology at early level? Um, maybe elementary school. Like, uh, you can imagine that uh, what uh, old, what about, mm -hmm. what age you want to uh, die? Uh, mm -hmm. What old is your aging age? Mm -hmm. uh, asking at uh, maybe younger fellow, mm -hmm. uh, I'll be living 100 years or I'll be living to 20, 20 years. Mm -hmm. Even asking the student at the cultural level, mm -hmm. they said uh, I will die 40 years or 30 years. Or some of the hundred years, mm -hmm. no? but I asking a reason why. Mm -hmm. Those who uh, think that I'm dying early year is uh, not hope or not dream. That during uh, uh, discussions, they will be gradually understanding what life is by uh, uh -huh. understanding uh, any topic uh, through social work or uh, counseling and so on. Because I'm not teaching only for skill but mm -hmm. also philosophy. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this? Asking mm -hmm. questions. And uh, possible, even they said, I want to die maybe 60 years old, mm -hmm. but they said maybe 90 years old. And asking mm -hmm. again, why you changed? Mm -hmm. Because I have hope, I have a dream. Oh good. Mm -hmm. That way, the people can change that vision. That is the reason why how much the younger uh, we depend on that the class or environment we may be able to ask in a, a picture of uh, imagination. Mm -hmm. What do your aging image? Mm -hmm. uh, they think uh, Superman is uh, my aging of the uh, idea, but sometimes a uh, bit ridden. This is my aging mm -hmm. idea. In Japanese, many Japanese children um, have negative image oh, of yeah. as aging. Mm -hmm. However, there are some. Um, th there are many samples mm -hmm. about positive aging, mm -hmm. so uh, elderly people can show their samples to mm -hmm. their children, mm -hmm. and children may feel better, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the point is that even we are dying on the bed, finally. Uh, uh, but, at uh, terminal period. Yeah, but yeah. I would say that when you are dying, mm -hmm. you are hearing ability is mm -hmm. the main. Still. Even though people may not realize, mm -hmm. but talk by talking, they are hearing, mm -hmm. because they understand what talking about. And I love you, mm -hmm. you are important. No? People, even they don't move, they think they don't realize anything else. They are ended, not mm -hmm. ended. We really have to trust love is going to giving that the hope to be. So that's why we really have to understand what human being is. Holistic understanding, mm -hmm. not only for individual ability. Mm -hmm. We have a question from Sukran in Turkey. Sukran, do you want to say your question? Ask your question early or I can read it. Um. Uh, I remember some legends uh, about uh, <coughs> life, uh, and there are many uh, old people uh, idol. Uh, they do everything. Uh, therefore, 
maybe Japanese legends uh, may help, may add this uh, working because it will uh, give Japanese society's understanding in the history. Uh, it is it is equal to general uh, uh, gerontology is very important and lifetime uh, is span but yeah we can add I think that it is important because uh, in my uh, society we have many tale uh, this tale involved the uh, the old people some of them evil some of them uh, good and dream uh, especially man side man is favor it is related to patriarchal uh, community also if the if you see a man with white beard means that the god uh, bless you or god help you that will help you uh, it is a superstition but it is interesting to understand the uh, society approach Therefore, it was not only a suggestion, not the questions, but uh, it can be interesting, I think, that if they have, I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Sokran. Yeah, so to include some Japanese tales and myths and, and interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in fact, I'm... Uh, Jun has some questions, so maybe I'll let Jun go first. I'm actually... For those who know, I'm, I'm, I want to ask a question for our Japanese colleagues to think about while Jun is asking questions. One is, what is the relevance of Ubastayama? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know it now. <laughs> yeah, uh, for, for the uh -huh. care and love of, and is it a good attitude for the sustainable future mm -hmm. that when we have medical costs increasing so much <laughs> by the people using so many resources at the end of the last few months of their life mm. and the system is going to collapse the system so should we now shift to throwing ourselves off mountains or feeding ourselves to the bear uh, in the forest as a solution for our sustainability but uh, Jim please you have some questions I want to give people a chance to think about that. Thank you. Yeah. My name is Zeng Nin. I have a PhD in gerontology. Mm -hmm. I was professor at the University of Social Health. And I have interest in your paper and I appreciate your effort. I have some questions. First, what are your goal or purpose for your dissertation? And how to these purpose align because it is a large field. Mm -hmm. And second, your uh, aim and objective of the uh, dissertation was the review of philosophy of uh, gerontology through review of this historical background, including indi indigenous history to explore the common 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 uh, community around the world but i wonder uh, if we can be objective of the discussion or not and so the, you said the research question of uh, this study include how gerontology can be applied with biotic into education setting but i wonder if you can explore to your core of discussion or not. Um, person. You said the history of uh, our family is very, uh, I think uh, history of your family is very interesting. Interesting. When you said uh, Japanese uh, don't like uh, history of your family and uh, have a negative impact. I think why uh, Japanese include me. I, I don't like uh, history of our history of our uh, my or your uh, family because uh, it, you can't uh, uh, analyze objectively our history of family 
maybe it um, but I don't know you can analyze uh, objective objectively history of your uh, family usually you can't uh, analyze objectively history of our family and people uh, what do you find your discussion I I can't find, I'm sorry. Thanks. So, firstly, what's your goal? And then, can you analyze objectively your own family history? So, that nature of writing. Uh, maybe you start answering those. Questions. Okay, the first yeah. question is uh, what is the goal of my question uh, for this uh, topic is that the uh, uh, cross short goal is uh, toward to the to next year, 2020, we are setting up the summit for uh, youth and uh, indigenous uh, leadership uh, in uh, Kitami Hokkaido. So uh, by uh, uh, having uh, this paper will be published not only a dissertation, but also published from Germany. The mm -hmm. publication is already setting up. Then uh, they may uh, every people, not every many people will read in English what's going on. They understand uh, what philosophy of gerontology is. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's my preparation. That my aim toward the 2030 will be uh, the Sapporo Olympics will be uh, 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 coming. Not sure, but uh, Sapporo is already preparing that. Uh, toward to the to, uh, 2030. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking that uh, not Olympic, we should have more uh, better country for influencing other countries, uh, uh, taking a hand, helping each other. The Olympics should not take um, uh, spending money. We should uh, more focus in that the value should be more another approach should uh, consider. That's why my short aim is that next year though my aim is already 2030. How Hokkaido may be able to more better society, mm -hmm. so that another uh, part of the prefectures or other country also may be able to modeling from our learning. Mm -hmm. So this is the objective one. Is that how indigenous people will be effective? As object is that uh, without understanding of indigenous people's history, only we learn from cultures or uh, some tourist uh, information. We really have to understand from their wisdom, the wit, uh, how they have provided. But they have been influenced by uh, modern societies. They are losing their idea because they become Japanese. They are not Japanese, they are Ainu. They have our own cultures. We don't respect. We only take a name for their purpose to achieve. No, no. They don't, their language also taken off. Well, even Native American language were taken off by American government, United States government. We really have to respect. That is not the way, way to respect. We really have to respect me digging up from history, which is hidden or taken off. That's what we need really to force for the research, not only uh, from current research, but also which has been taken off for our history as well. The third education, the uh, third uh, purpose of education, uh, family history, how we uh, may be able to evaluate. We have to be self-confidence who we are, first of all. Then, by doing that uh, connection, we may be able to reach out, not only Japanese or Korean or Chinese. We may be able to reach out to the commonality as Asia. Even the European people may be able to reach out to the Adam and Eve as a human being. You know, we really are uh, fighting uh, uh, among the countries. No, no, no. We really have to really go into the more history background so that we may be able to find out instead of competitive but more uh, collaborative way. That may be used for the education purpose as well. So this is my uh, intention of the research. Okay. And then the, I guess the topic here also, can you write, does a, f a PhD thesis need to be objective? So, some aspects, of course, need to be objective, especially you're presenting a history. But uh, if it's your personal story, personal philosophy, then uh, it may not need, that part does not need to be objective. Um, 
but it still needs to be able to be examined in terms of this, the jump from your personal history to the, what is generally applicable as a philosophy of gerontology. So that part needs to be done objectively. But you can take lessons from your own uh, identity. Mm. Yeah, that is a, a very important uh, uh, critical uh, issue because I ask in the Dr. Shibata, uh, we, we can find out through his uh, book who he is, but I was interested in his uh, life itself. Mm. And I asking uh, asking for writing uh, many things. I ask him give me more uh, uh, papers and uh, which is not introducing, which talk to me. Mm. He wrote a letter well, when he was boy. He was protected by Ainu students, mm -hmm. and he was raised uh, Ainu area, and also uh, uh, he graduated from to, uh, uh, Hokkaido University. Mm -hmm. Actually, that uh, he uh, taking out two years uh, stays in that uh, same department. Mm -hmm. Then two years later, uh, re into the medical uh, college again. Then he spent uh, one more year. That means he uh, medical uh, doctors takes a 60 years program. Though he takes more than eight to ten years to graduate. Mm -hmm. That means uh, he also during high school he was interested in choir. He was in judo. He was a literature club. Uh, those who really acquainted the Dr. Shibata, they don't know about his, his background. Mm -hmm. But through his uh, artistic background. That is a philosophy he is doing now, but people very clearly understand that the, who he is now mm. only. That's why I whole understand the total uh, partner, personal history mm. to understand is going to the more depth understanding of philosophy, mm. what gerontology is. So this is the point of view that uh, we understand that uh, objective uh, setting up uh, for the uh, topic. Object is important though. Subjective approach also necessary to find out more uh, narrow and depth understanding of a particular point of gerontology as well by interviewing of Dr. Shibata that I have a surprise. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Uh, anyway, what did you find in your paper? I'm sorry. Sorry? What did you say? What did you find in your paper? Can you understand? No, we don't understand. What did you say again? Yeah. What did you find in your paper? What you find? Yeah, find. Find or find? Find F I N D. F I N D. Yeah. Find. Your discussion. Oh, what your did I paper. find from uh, result yeah. conclusion? Mm -hmm. it's still, uh, still ongoing. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I'm not writing the conclusion yet. I'm. I'm not writing this part, but because uh, by listening from this uh, proposal uh, discussion, <laughs> I have more details. So this is a way of the going to that uh, conclusion and suggestion of the yeah. paper. Yeah. Thank you. So may I have a question? Yes. So uh, you just said that you uh, have, have not uh, written your conclusion yet. But uh, as I said before, it seemed to me that your conclusion is that what is important is the love of life uh, for the philosophy of geontology. So my question is that uh, it's, so does your conclusion, you know, come from your literature, literature review? and um, interviews so as far as so I think that your conclusion have to come to from your you know desired analysis so is that or is this that you know pred working conclusion you are you know kind of belief so could yes. You tell me? yes. For my uh, idea, is uh, first of all we have to go back to the foundation of philosophy of gerontology first, uh, not only for current academic uh, statement, but also it is not written the history of gerontology. That's why we have to go to that uh, history more further. 
The second is that the martial arts is uh, also related to philosophy uh, with the Japanese culture uh, aspect. That would be uh, particularly called in Japanese is a kigatsuku and zanshin. Kigatsuku is to do good things without being told. That is a part of the hospitality to give uh, help services. And the zanshin is uh, we do uh, some approach before they are doing, we are waiting, waiting, though they, once they express something, going to something. Mm -hmm. So this is a, you know, kendo still have a, a, some award, zanshin though. This is a more focusing to that uh, 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 all the, uh, practice exercise way. But zanshin is a for whole life aspect, mm -hmm. for people's needs, observing, but we don't do directly. May I help you? No. Oh, well, something waiting, 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 even though I want to help. But they need to grow by themselves instead of direct service from us. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we need to be patient myself, ourselves, to do something for help. So that is a part of the philosophy of Zanshi as well. Yeah. So that may be used for education, for total uh, approach. So this is a part of the conclusion I'm thinking about. It. Okay. Any other comments? Questions? First of all, congratulations uh, for your presentation beside the good content. Uh, you show a uh, gifted control of breath and voice. Uh, it's something that must be highlighted. Um, my question is, um, do this so kind to delve a little bit more into the question of uh, acculturation and gerontology. You have pointed out the case of the Rioma people. Um, nowadays, uh, we are uh, the same uh, adrift into the migration policies and their consequence, as well as uh, a wider demographics into the migra migrant population and uh, it was uh, my question about the fate of the elder people who migrate. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, so the question of acculturation, yeah. So it's also, I think, a changing over, the culture is changing everywhere and that's another interesting question, Manuel. Mm -hmm culture in Spain where you're from is certainly changing and I think culture in Japan is certainly changing and because both countries have a tradition I think of extended families and then in that way the young children would get used to old people as uh, your Hitami's comment but nowadays is a distancing when you have a more nuclear family um, and so again in the educate some indigenous communities uh, one of the opportunities that's provided is the revival of indigenous languages and this year is the year of indigenous languages mm -hmm. and AUSN is a partner university of the UN in this mm -hmm. international year of indigenous languages but uh, we have here a need to put young children with elders who still speak the language together so mm -hmm. it's actually a great opportunity for education mm -hmm. Uh, of culture to revive this. And the same I don't know in Japan, if local dialects are being lost. If we want to revive local dialects, you need to get the old people with a local dialect with the young children, otherwise a local dialect is lost and everybody speaks like NHK or like a, a pop idol or whoever they're going to follow. Um, so if we want so this is also not, you can apply this, there are many implications for education of mixing mm -hmm. and then when you mix you replace the professional teacher and the controlled curriculum mm -hmm. of a Ministry of Education and Culture which is very controlled mm -hmm. and especially if it's politically correct you have to speak correctly what's in the classroom correctly but if you now go to an informal curriculum of education as well mm -hmm you have many more opportunities which are quite interesting mm. uh, and so when we have
country following a very strict, some socialist countries follow it very strictly, and some liberal countries follow it very strictly, despite its counter to its liberal philosophy, to control the education, what's in the curriculum. Like, you can't use certain words. So even, for example, officially you can't use the word blind and deaf in Japan, but there are words for these. And there are social practices which exist. And so if we all have to be politically correct, we're going to lose some aspects of culture. Mm -hmm. We're doing a social engineering by controlling education. Mm -hmm. And we've done that for mm -hmm. some decades. But if we bring old people, they will say things which are not politically oh. correct. But it's actually very interesting, I think, for young people to understand mm. this is how people were talking mm. and to challenge. Of course, we might want social engineering to make the world somehow more bioethical mm. according to our political agenda. Mm. But it doesn't mean it. So, so I think there's many things you can think about. Um, I, I would really be interested in people's views of the ethos of Japan, Mr. Yama, other, other, not just this, but opening up to the broader questions. What is the ethos of Japan that can contribute to the world? Any comments? Any, uh. not just on this thesis, but in general. Uh, I want to say, uh, it is very nice, uh, very good uh, thesis. I, I want to congratulate you. Uh, it is interesting also to give uh, some uh, vision. Uh, <clears throat> maybe uh, you can support some uh, uh, study, not the, this, uh, uh, this thesis. It is almost finished. But uh, Japanese, yeah, there is the, the religion uh, and 19th century. Maybe, maybe you can uh, uh, compare uh, before 19th century and after, because 19th century is started the uh, modern medicine. We can say uh, because uh, the uh, yeah, Lowen who uh, created the microscope uh, and his followers. Therefore, we understood, uh, we started to understand biology, which is very important. And uh, the world people uh, understanding uh, started to change against the, uh, against the uh, illnesses. And now, uh, biological uh, age, uh, genetic engineering, etc., it is a uh, new, uh, everything is new. Uh, we try to understand biological uh, development and uh, to change uh, for uh, via uh, genetic engineer. This is the a big difference. But thank you. It is very important gerontology because the life is expand. Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So yes, please go ahead. So you, you told us no. Ubastayama. Yeah. yeah. That is very um, So can you explain what is Ubastayama? <laughs> Ubastayama. So uh, it nowadays, so Ubas, Ubas, uh, not Ubastayama, Ubastayama. <laughs> it's a little bit different to the pronouns, Ubastayama. Uh, it's, a, it's kind of a sad story mm -hmm. because so, uh, at the time we have no social security system. Mm -hmm. And the many of uh, children, uh, one family has five or six or seven children, and <coughs> the, uh, the parents taking care of all of the children. And the, do you know that the poorest ages uh, parents taking care of the five or seven uh, children, and their um, Forest age is the um, thirty years old, uh, thirty age, thirties, and then 
most of the richest ages, 50s, mm-hmm. because all the children grew up, grew up mm-hmm. uh, over 50. Mm-hmm. But their life, as in the world, is almost at the end. Because at the time, uh, until 1947, our life expectancy is 50, mm-hmm. only 50. Therefore, um, they have no happiest time mm-hmm. for the uh, parents. But as uh, Vastayama's story is in, uh, in twen- 300 years ago, mm-hmm. a story. But as we are in, in the, just before the World War II. Mm-hmm. And the mother was the mother and mm, eldest the son. The mother is, has very old, and they have. Uh, she has some of the uh, disease, mm-hmm. and they can't. Ha- she can't handle everything in her life. Therefore, she decided to. Go up to the mountain and to gonna be die because so if she has to have some the long life, maybe the elder <coughs> son is a stronger to taking care of mother and taking care of children and work and they also the their family is very poor therefore she asked. I got the son mm-hmm. to bring me mm-hmm. to go up to the mountain. That is, a, it's a kind of uh, our culture, Japanese culture, but it, it is some story. Mm. It's only one story, or it was a uh, just one, Yeah, just one story. It's very symbolized Japanese uh, culture. So if it symbolizes Japanese culture, it means that mm-hmm. it happened usually. This this no, kind of situation can yeah. happen because so, uh, usually, mm-hmm. or it was only one example oh, and it was very impactful. Yeah, yeah that, that is a, just a symbolizer of mm-hmm. yes. mothers, mm-hmm. mother oh. thinking about to the son. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they, they are ready to sacrifice themselves. Ah uh, no 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 in just symbolic way, not yes, necessarily not, not necessarily symbolic. Only symbolic. symbolic. Uh, yes yes yes. And then this is just a fair uh, story, but very uh, Japanese culture is about background. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But nowadays, so I just uh, uh, re- read this, this story to telling about my students. Mm-hmm. So what do you think about mm-hmm. young generation? This, uh, I in my community, I, I live you don't have a, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. normal com- in a normal Japanese community, and there are many people who struggle this way. Ah, they yes. they mm-hmm. have uh, children in school, they mm-hmm. have uh, parents, uh, yes, elderly parents, mm-hmm. and they have to work. Ah, there yes. are plenty of people mm-hmm. in this situation. Uh, yes, and so my uh, young generation is mm-hmm. thinking about uh, this story. It's it's uh, elder abuse. Elder abuse. Yes, elder abuse. Even though even though it's the choice of the elderly lady. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. so sh- because she wants to sacrifice herself for oh, the yes. benefit of mm-hmm. the because son. of the taking care of the uh, son's family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, she won't, uh, don't want her, her son mm-hmm. to bother. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you it's often a hear mm-hmm. uh, 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 mm-hmm. a yeah. 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 It's a very big burden for the, the elder son. Yes, but mm-hmm. in our days, even mm-hmm. if they say, I don't want to be a burden, they will not uh, mm. say, take, take me to the mountain and leave me there. Yeah. Well, it would be, it would be so now it's, our culture has changed, a lot of change. Uh, where is the change? Uh, the, the spirit is the same, it's, yes, le- yes, it's illegal. Yes. But, <laughs> yes. and so, so everybody has a right to live. Yes. And even though, uh, so you don't, you can't take care of by yourself. But we have uh, some social security and social insurance. Mm-hmm. Therefore, uh, we can survive. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. for a long time, mm-hmm. long life. Mm-hmm. You told me? Uh, however, I think the spirit of Ugastiano mm-hmm. is still alive among elderly people because uh, they, if they, um, if they have a terminal cancer, um, they tend to be enter in hospice. Um, mm-hmm. Well, without, yeah, yeah, without family, mm-hmm. um, they don't families to bother their mm-hmm. hands, and they um, tend to be alone in either facility mm-hmm. or hospital. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, one of the spirits is still alive. I think. Mm. So can I ask, uh, I want to ask Atsushi, mm? so we have uh, age limits for organ transplants in oh. some cases, mm. that we won't give a, you know, an organ to a very old person, mm-hmm. isn't that the same as Ubastiyama or it's the same philosophy? Maybe same. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, based on the utilitarian, you know, ideologies and um, Society want to maximize the, the benefit, uh, mm-hmm. you know, uh, yeah. caused by the organ transplantation. So, you know, some people think that it would be better for us to give organ to younger mm. than older mm-hmm. person. Yeah. And this is in the law. No. I, I'm not sure, but there is a age limit. There yeah, is, uh, is this a role or a guideline? It's a guideline in some cases, there is an age limit. So, mm-hmm. But we have, uh, so Broda, any other observations on the ethos of Japan? So for me, when I hear the story of Ubastiyama, I think, mm-hmm. I don't think it's elderly abuse. Uh, I think it's uh, mm-hmm. a it's very, it's I think it's noble. Mm-hmm. And I think I'd do mm-hmm. the same, I'd like to do the same thing. But for younger generation, when I'm old, I should just die. Mm. I should not use resources because we have limited resources. Mm. But not mm-hmm. go. Uh, yeah, at a time. I, I wouldn't go in the wild. I would go uh, in the middle of the mountain, but in a hut or something, and <laughs> not directly in the wild. <laughs> you don't want to jump to the shark tank. Huh? Do that? Jump into the shark tank mm. for <laughs> the hungry <laughs> sharks. Mm. No. Hungary yeah, beer. Better with a beer. A beer would be no, r- more noble, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. I okay. prefer beer to a shop. Anything else on the ethos of Japan? Mm. So, is this a good thing for mm-hmm. sustainability? That we limit the costs of elderly people? ourselves, but it should never be compulsory. That's one of the points of ethics. Mm -hmm. But we do have limits. Um, Yeah, so I think that's an interesting point. But that shouldn't be limited if we are going to limit resources not only to organ transplantations. It Mm -hmm. could be limited to dialysis, Mm -hmm. to to other things. And that's and how about the um, elderly uh, suicide? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that is a very serious mm. issue. Mm. And elderly suicide. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> yeah. That's mm. a kind of robust. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Cross way is the same. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but still, I, I mean, so all suicide is uh, mm-hmm. sad, but. Youth suicide is disturbing, elderly suicide, I can understand people mm-hmm. sometimes. But if it's very lonely, it's I unfortunate. It's yeah. mm. Mm. I, I don't know whether it's uh, uh, funny or not, but it's the, the delinquency also mm. for elderly people. They, because of loneliness, mm. they... they Mambiki? Did you see the, the movie mm-hmm. Mambiki? Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. <laughs> did you see it? Did, did, did anybody see it? Oh, that, that is a family and um, it, it's also a community of poor people mm-hmm. and it, there is no way to live without Mambiki by themselves. Yeah. Therefore, they're just a picnic. 
just pick up and share. That's oh, wonderful. That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Mutual aid. <laughs> 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 it's a true story. Yeah, no. Mm. I think it is not true. Just a story. Because in Japan, it is criminal. Yeah, but there are many, many elderly. But most of them are caused by dementia or some syndrome. Not but uh, dementia, they're uh, also because of loneliness. They want mm -hmm. to, to be interrogated. They want to communicate. And there's a jail and mm -hmm. they live their lives. Before entering the jail, mm -hmm. they are interrogated. They ask you, how are you? Why did you do this? <laughs> they're getting attention. This is what they crave. Uh, and also uh, they have an uh, economic issue. Probably, mm. but the economic issue is secondary to the oh, yes, to, second. to the, to the mm -hmm. attention they want. They want somebody to ask them why are you doing this? Mm. Are there? Do you have some comments on? Actually, uh, Nayana Busco, uh, when we had a conference in 2012, mm -hmm. we asked the uh, Aomori Yamada High School, mm -hmm. Junior uh, High School, for taking a one-year practice, mm -hmm. then perform the uh, musical for stage at the Utsunomiya. Mm -hmm. then you may be to Google in YouTube, Aomori mm -hmm. Yamada, Nayana Busco, there be story. Mm -hmm. Please, mm -hmm. they have uh, no rest or uh, day off for the almost uh, 10 months forecasting. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, as you know, the Yama, Aori Yamada is very famous for Shintai So, the new uh, 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 gymnasium. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, uh, the teacher is very excellent though. They depend on the students. Mm -hmm. You decide, you create everything, and mm -hmm. they are very, very uh, stressfully thinking mm -hmm. and create. Mm -hmm. You will see that uh, Aomori Yamada, mm -hmm. Nareyama Bushiko. Oh, Aomori yeah, Yamada? Yeah, Nareyama Aomori Yamada and uh, Nareyama Bushiko. Mm -hmm. Then you will see that uh, topic. And uh, he is greeting, uh, I'm greeting on the stage. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nareyama Bushiko. Mm -hmm. uh, when I, uh, we had a conference in uh, St. Petersburg, Russia, we did the Genetology Conference mm -hmm. for this uh, purpose as well. Uh, what I was asking, the question was, what do you think about Nareyama Bushiko? Mm -hmm. in the from of Santa Peter, uh, mm -hmm. Peterburg University. They are very interested in the philosophy of mm -hmm. Nara Busco as well. But uh, I have studied the conclusion was that is not a true story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He yes, created yes. through uh, communication with right. his mother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then going to that uh, related to the Naga, uh, Nagano uh, mm -hmm. cultural history though, but it is not uh, also Nagano cultural history as well. Mm -hmm. So he own created on his mind, mm -hmm. then wrote as a, a story, was a very well-known mm -hmm. uh, uh, movie. Mm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, please, mm. did, uh, watch it. I don't go in the Skype, I'll YouTube? put it in the website as well. Please read, uh, watch uh, as a word. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very. Thank you, Rod. Yeah, so uh, thank you. It's been a very interesting discussion, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, try also helpful, I think, and for, for all. you are completed. <laughs> yes. Please, mm -hmm. teach, teach. <laughs> then what you uh, share with me. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And then I'm